It is not very often where I take a headline that I've had no time to dig into and bring it right to one of my experts. It's because I want to be a little bit more prepared for these conversations. But given that Taylor here has 10 years on the street, is trained and certified uh, in all things trading and investing, I have to ask, Taylor, did you just see what Apple dropped this morning? <laughs> they dropped a bombshell. There is no other way to describe this, and this is not overstating it. So if you don't know what we're talking about here, Apple just announced a savings account. Yes, a savings account partnered up with Goldman Sachs uh, with a interest rate of 4.15%. That is 4.15%. I felt the reverberations all the way over here, as I'm sure you have. What does it mean? What happens next? Just wow. This is disruption at its finest right here. Uh, you look at Apple, you're talking about the largest company on the planet now entering a space that has been old school stodgy banking for centuries and they are disrupting. I looked up right before this call just to make sure I was pretty sure I was right on this. JP Morgan Chase, largest bank in the US, 0.01% interest on their savings account. Bank of America, second largest bank in the US, 0.01%. So what is this, a, a 4,150 4, 4, time <laughs> multiple of what the largest banks on the planet are currently providing. And so we just went through earnings last week of JP Morgan. JP Morgan blew out earnings based on net interest margin. So what does that mean just for our viewers real quick? Net interest margin is the difference between what they're paying depositors, which is 0.01%, and what they're able to lend out on the other end. That went up 49% from a year prior and caused them to have absolutely blowout earnings. Well, guess what? Apple's coming in and saying, you're, you're, you're yielding 0.01%. We're now going to provide 4.15%. What's that going to do to their deposits? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I think there's, I think we got to talk about big bank, little bank. I think, I think what we've seen in the last 30 days, 40 days is regional banks flood big banks. We've also seen big banks after that lose money to mark money markets, gold, Bitcoin. Cash is moving like it's never moved before. And now Apple has come out and changed the game. I mean, you got to remember, Apple is beloved by, you know, Gen X, millennials, Gen Z, maybe not so much boomers and all of that, but they have the reputation, right? Pristine. And I can't imagine millions of dollars isn't already, if not billions of dollars, flooding to them right now. If this is already on your phone, which I, I read the press release, it'll be done via the phone. There's money moving there already. Correct. And I, I would argue that boomers aren't involved in that because my parents qualify as boomers and they both have iPhones. Right. Oh, I mean, cool. what percentage of the U.S. And, and all my aunts and uncles all have iPhones as well. And maybe we're an iPhone family, but we have no reason to be. We're not an affluent family by any means. Um, everybody trusts Apple. So banking is predicated on two things, trust and accessibility. You trust this device because you stare at it for three hours every single day is the average time watched on an iPhone. And it already has all of your information. So there you go. Trust, accessibility, check, check. And so there have been online savings accounts now that offer similar and even more competitive rates than that. But they're from names that people have never, ever heard of before. So the trust factor isn't there. The accessibility factor isn't there because you have to go input all of that information into a system that you're not really all that confident about. Yeah. So I guess the big question and why I wanted to bring this to you is, A, I think step one is already happening. Deposits are flowing to Apple uh, to be expected, right? 4,000% increase over the 0.1, I wonder who reacts first. It almost to me has to be regional banks, right? Because they've already been injured or, or hamstrung we are going to start to see the regional, and again, regional banks could be a hundred billion dollars, right? I think it's anything below two hundred and fifty is technically a regional bank that's second or third tier. They're going to start to have to raise savings rates, or the deposit flight will just be unstoppable. Is that is that? Do you think yeah. who feels this first? A hundred percent, because look at it this way. People were looking at regional banks and going, they're actually providing a higher yield to me than some of these big banks are. And therefore, I'm not going to move my money from a higher yielding account into a lower yielding account just for safety. 
But people trust Apple. The balance sheet is absolutely pristine. The market cap is $2.6 trillion. It's the largest company on the planet. This is just as trustworthy as these big banks are. Yeah. And then, you know, so again, I think I think the regional sucking sound is already happening. But I don't think the big banks are immune, right? They're reporting some great numbers. They probably fill in all puffy chest. I mean, JP Morgan made 49% more for doing nothing. Let's be clear. It does not take a lot of people to take deposits and put them at the overnight window at the Fed. That's that's not a heavy overhead exercise. And to, to make $20.5 billion on net interest margin is insane. Big banks will lose too. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. It is going to come from both directions. And it'll be really interesting because... I don't know, and, and maybe you can think of another uh, instance of this, but just a company with the trust factor that that Apple has entering into the banking space. Has that ever happened based on your recollection? No, no, not that I can not, can, not that I can think of off the top of my head. So, but again, it's it's um, they're just this. I I saw this come across, and I'm like, oh, this is because I mean, so. How fa- here's a, this is how I this is really what I wanted to ask you right we've we've come to this point it's now April seventeenth how soon does J P Morgan and Bank of America the two banks you listed which you verified as of this morning are paying point one how point soon zero one. point yeah <laughs> oh shoot point zero one <laughs> yeah, call whatever it is right nothing <laughs> what nothing how soon are they paying over a percent how soon do they have to react. This is this is one of those instances where we just don't have any history to look at. We don't have a company taking that was why I asked you. We don't have the company that moved into a space like this is not a bank, right? Apple's not a bank, but they are the perfect conduit into yeah. this banking system because of the trust, yeah. because of the accessibility. I think it has to happen very, very quickly. Yeah. So I have the article. I actually pulled it up because this was so game changing. This is from CNBC. I'm sure it's everywhere. Ample launch yep. a savings account. What I wanted to read in this was who are they doing this through? Because again, they're not a chartered bank. Correct. Right? So they're doing this uh, via Goldman or wait, where is it? I read it yep. earlier. Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs Marcus. right here, dude. Yep. Right here. Apple is launching a savings account through Goldman Sachs. It's right here. Yep. So when I pulled this up, I've actually already created a video on this that's going to get launched on on Instagram and on TikTok. It actually didn't even have that information at the time. The headline hit and I was like, my brother called me, my business partner called me immediately. He goes, dude, you have to go look at this. I'm like, what are the details? He's like, there aren't any details out yet, but go look at this right now. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. The the first time I saw this, it was just a red bar. Says that was it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. So again, this is, this is, this is going to change the game. So I I'm willing to guess. That JP Morgan, I think JP Morgan will be first. They seem to be this. They will increase their savings rate by the end of the month. That's two weeks. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. And I agree with you that I think JP Morgan is the most innovative of the biggies, of Citi, of Bank of America, of Wells. JP Morgan and Jamie Dimon seem to be the most innovative of that group of large institutionalized banks. Yeah. Well, let's play the other game. So again, Apple did this, shook the landscapes going. I mean, they're, uh, they'll have a trillion dollars of savings in no time. Yep. Here's a fun question. Who copies them? Does Google do this? Does Microsoft. Facebook do this? Yeah. 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 Amazon. Yep. I mean, where does this I- go? I, I think the easiest ones, and and now you know Facebook's reputation has been has been drugged through the mud a little bit, but they would be, in my opinion, the easiest one to duplicate because again, Microsoft doesn't have all that information already embedded on their phone. Facebook really does. They have your name, they have your date of birth, they have all of those things, your email account already set up, so they're already ingrained and essentially could flip a switch just like Apple. Now Apple has. The uh, Apple was the ultimate company to do this, to disrupt yeah, this space. They got the they, iOS. Every bit uh, of my life is tied to my phone, my computer, every single thing. that If I want to buy something online, I have to confirm via my Apple password in order to purchase something online. It's crazy how ingrained they are. If I wanted to switch from an Apple to a Google device, a phone, it would change my life for like a month and a half. I'm not willing to do that. No, exactly. Yeah. So I think, again, I, when I look at kind of the operating system, Google obviously comes out, right? There is the, the Google, uh, you know, iOS or whatever they call it. Yep. Good point. Yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, then it then it really becomes it basically it's the apps that we look at every day. Right. So right. I think you look at this of two ways. What is the big I think JP Morgan raises by and again, I don't think they raise a lot. I mean, I think the, I think they go over one. I think that's the Herculean move. Not, and do not, they yeah. pull money from another big bank based on that? If they move first, yeah. do you start to get some shift out of the big bank to another big bank that we oh, haven't it's... experienced yet? We're, we're, so what we saw with Silicon Valley Bank was the first digital bank run. Yep. $42 billion in six hours, over $100 billion or whatever it was in a day and a half. That was a digital bank run. We are about to see crap like that on another level. So this is happening in real time. We will bring this back to you every week because I we could have numbers as soon as next week about how much they have, and we will talk about it here. Taylor, where can people find this video you're going to put out? Where are you putting it out? Yeah, put it, we'll put it out on Instagram and on TikTok. Our handle there is at Life Goal Investments. And uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting because we'll continue to update on this. Absolutely. Thanks, buddy.